Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jared and today we're going to be talking about this thing. Alright guys, welcome back to another video from me. I'm going to be trying to make more consistent videos about different aspects of filmmaking, editing, and running your own business and stuff like that. But today, we're going to be talking about this. This little adapter for my Sony a7 III. This is an adapter to put Canon EF lenses to my Sony a7 III. Now for me personally, the reason I got this adapter was because a friend of mine sold me my Canon mount Sigma 20 millimeter f1.4 and it was a great deal from him and I didn't use any Canon cameras and I only had my a7 III which I'm filming on now but I really wanted to use that lens and I'm slowly wanting to go back to Canon lenses because of other cameras that I'm buying the Blackmagic pocket cinema camera 4k that was a tongue twister I bought an adapter for that and I want to be able to use one set of lenses to use between all my cameras and just to save myself money. I wanted to get this adapter and I was really worried about how's it going to perform with autofocus, is it going to be glitchy back and forth like working between the lens and the camera. I just really wasn't sure how it was going to work out. Now the greatest thing about this adapter is the only other option I saw that was half decent reviews was the Metabones and the Metabones was very expensive. Let me check right now what it is. Okay, scratch that. I don't know if the prices went down but I thought I remember them being a lot more expensive. But I was looking for reliable autofocus and I heard that the Metabones from the videos I watched that the autofocus wasn't completely trustworthy whereas this Sigma MC11 adapter seem to work perfectly well with especially Sigma Canon lens, like Sigma lenses made for Canon EF. Now, I was worried about the attaching from the adapter to the lens. And if you look right here, that's what this looks like inside. It goes on to the Canon, I'm just trying to line it up. Fits in right there. Nice click, like went into place and everything. Now the only thing is, it makes this lens excessively large. Like when I mount it onto, I have my backup camera, the A6500 here, and I'll throw it on this. Now this is just like insanely big. Especially when you look at just how big the lens is by itself. The second you throw this on, it makes it massive. And now there is a little bit of wiggle room. I don't know if it moves the tiniest little bit. But it's never been an issue for me. And I use this lens 90% of my shoots with this adapter. People usually go for the Laowa, which is crazy wide and a 16 millimeter and stuff like that. And me personally, I found that this lens is a beast for real estate. I've never once, I, I've had to look down to see, like just to make sure if it was focused properly. But for 90% of the time, if there's, if I'm using the correct autofocus settings in the camera, I know 100% it's gonna nail that focus with this Sigma lens. And this adapter is truly amazing. And it's only priced at 250 bucks American, which conversion for me was a little bit more, but it was completely worth it. All right, now the downsides to this adapter. This adapter, obviously made by Sigma, it's meant to be used with Sigma lenses. I recently just bought the Canon 70-200 f4, but the stabilized version. And the first night I got this, 
I obviously wanted to check how the autofocus works with the Sony a7 III using this adapter. Fortunately, the image stabilization from the 70-200 works, and it works well, like it, it's perfectly spot, it's perfectly fine, but the autofocus is not. For video though, for photos, it's just as fast as any other Sony lens or adapting with this to a Sigma lens like the 20 I was just talking about works perfectly fine. But when it comes to the 70 to 200 for video, from what I tested for a couple minutes, I haven't used this out in the field yet, is that it's it's slow. It, it hunts back and forth and create like the autofocus is not good. I'm not too concerned about it because I'm going to be using manual focus a lot more from now on, getting that Pocket Cinema 4K from Blackmagic. But for the money and how well it works with Sigma Glass specifically, there is virtually no difference between this lens that I'm using, the Tamron 28-75, to and the Sigma lens I was using. The autofocus is tack sharp every time and I trust it 100% of the time. So if you guys are looking to pick up this adapter from Sigma, the MC11, it's on B&H, different stores, wherever you get your camera stuff from, ask for the MC11 adapter and you can keep using your Canon or Sigma lenses with your Sony cameras. Anyways guys, that's it for this one. Catch you next time, and uh, peace out.